All right, so I'm here today to show you guys, um, you know, what to do with German roaches. Um, what's going on is that we own an appliance repair company, or I should say I own an appliance repair company. And unfortunately, when we go into these homes, there's going to be customers that have these German roaches. And if you don't know what a German roach is, you're about to see. Um, they're a nuisance. They're really hard to get rid of. They... Um, they like electronics, so they like uh, the control boards on dishwashers, refrigerators, microwaves, um, even a telephone, like a, like a regular home phone, um, that sort of thing. So what happens is they get into these electronics, and then when we remove a control board um, to replace it, um, they'll be hiding inside, and then they end up in our vehicles. So uh, over the years, you know, it's, it just happens, unfortunately, something that we can't avoid. Um, so then we have to take care of them. When it does happen um, and we try not to cross contaminate the vans you know if somebody notices one in it we 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 you know clean, empty them out immediately go through everything make sure everything's clean and and then um, and then try to kill them off so what I found to work is uh, it's a fogger bomb and I'll show you now so this this vehicle has been here for 24 hours um, treated it and this is what happened after 24 hours And let me give you two seconds here. Let me let, let it air out a little bit here. I'm going to stick my head in immediately. I'm going to open it up, get some doors open. And you're going to want to use quite a bit of foggers. This is the first treatment. Um, I'll probably do three treatments. Uh, and let me just show you what fogger I'm using. This is the only one that seems to work. Um, it is hot shot, no mess fogger. Um, it is actually doesn't say that it kills German roaches. Um, it says that it kills roaches in general, but roaches in general would be like a palmetto bug here in Florida. Um, you know, it's a bigger roach. These guys are really small and they don't get any bit much bigger than that right there. And that guy is dead. Um, well, actually he's not dead yet. He's almost dead. Um, so we're going to get him actually killed immediately before he runs off. Um, yeah, he's dead now. So, again, if you look down here on the floor, you can see that there's one, two, three, four, you know, there's one in between the carpet there, five, six, seven, eight. Um, there's a couple under the seat right there. Um, and they, what, what happens is they hide in all the nooks and crannies, and they literally hide underneath the dashboard, and they'll be all up underneath the dashboard. So when we'd set these foggers off, I like to set them off and get them angled to where they can they can go up underneath the dash like so like that this first round i just did just to neutralize them a little bit um and get as many as i could that were just inside the vehicle you won't even know they're there that's the crazy part um you you absolutely won't even know that they're there sometimes when you move something whether it's a uh, whether it's a carpet or or you know open up a console they can be hidden inside that console and you might see a little movement and they disappear and at night if you come out and use a flashlight you'll find them in here they'll they'll literally be running around at night looking for food um and they don't they they like the electronics and they, and they hide under there and they like the electrolysis from it as you can see there's another one over there on the floor um and then there was one in the back of this this is just a transit van um so it's a smaller vehicle if you have a large van or a large vehicle you're going to want to use um you know probably six of them um, you really want to hit them hard because you want that stuff to make its way into the dashboard, underneath the dashboard, um, into all the nooks and crannies, and it's, it has to penetrate up underneath there. Um, again, this is just the first treatment. I'm going to do it until I stop seeing them dead. Um, I'll probably do another treatment, and, <clears throat> and then after that treatment, you know, if I don't see any and I vacuum it out real well and I don't see any, I'll probably call it a day. Um, but I'll keep – I will I – will I will treat with a preventative, um, a preventative chemical, and let me let me go get that, and I'll show you that. All right, so I'm back here, and this is the preventative chemical that I was talking about. Uh, this is a concentrated little bottle. Um, you can put it into a spray bottle. It, you can also buy it pre-mixed, um, but I couldn't. Unfortunately, they were out of the pre-mixed one, so I'm gonna have to put it in a little pump sprayer and spray it around. But this actually does kill German roaches as far as they stayed on the bottle. Um, kills German, German cockroaches right there for up to 12 months. Um, 
again, this is something that I, I will spray all up underneath the dash and all around and along the edges. Um, and I will, you know, I'm going to spray it where it's not going to make contact with the technician that's driving the vehicle. Um, you know, I'll make sure it's underneath the seats, um, in areas where it's not going to, you know, he's not going to touch it and then eat his lunch or anything like that. You know, obviously I'm hope I'm hoping he washes his hands in it, but again, it's something that, you know, it needs to be done to keep him out of here. Um, and any leftovers that are in here still, hopefully this will wipe them out. Um, so again, this is, this is how I do it and hope this helps somebody because I don't think there's too many videos out there and I guarantee there's other people just, you know, your average everyday person that goes to a garage sale and, you know, gets them in their vehicle. Um, you know, it's, it's something that, you know, the, no matter what you do, you, you could end up with them. Um, but we, we see this all the time and this is how I do it. Hope this helps somebody and see you later.